During his junior season of high school, Devontae Graham led Broughton, located his historic downtown rally, to the North Carolina 4A state championship. Graham scored 23 points, 7 rebounds, and 6 assists in the contest. The Capitals were defeated by Olympic High School 56-53 after a failed three-pointer to tie the game by, you guessed it, Devontae Graham. In spite of the outcome, Graham was still awarded Most Outstanding Player. It's no stretch to say Devontae Graham has always had a love affair with the three-point shot. After all, three is more than two, and Graham has shown that sending up a high volume of threes to the tune of 10 three-point attempts per game is a viable strategy in the modern NBA. But how did he get here? Let's back up. After losing the state championship, Graham decided to move on to greener pastures in order to gain exposure for his exceptional basketball talents. Graham had already committed to Appalachian State, but wanted to play the field and decided to bet on his own ability. This manifested in the form of a transfer to Brewster Academy, where Graham led them to a national prep championship victory while averaging 17 points and 5 assists. After his breakout year at prep school, Graham enrolled at Kansas. After winning back-to-back -back Player of the Year awards in his junior and senior seasons, he was ready for the NBA draft. His shooting was still skewed behind the arc, and the scouts knocked him for it. In his senior year of college, he shot better behind the arc, 41%, than in front of it, 39%. Obviously, this fails to account for shot selection, quality, etc. However, I think it still illustrates what we expect from our guards now. Players are coming into the league hearing over and over that mid-range shots are dead and threes are everything, so I'm not surprised a player having a breakout season now is one to knock for his playstyle. Graham really hasn't changed much in terms of his shot selection since college. While attending Kansas, he only had one season, his freshman year, in which he averaged more two-point attempts than threes. After freshman year, he always shot more than 50% of his attempts from behind the arc. This has translated to the NBA in full force. Last season in the G League, Graham averaged 10 three-point attempts per game on 18 field goals total. This year, he is averaging 9 attempts on 15 per game. I believe he is well on his way to a Most Improved Player Award for his stellar leap in efficiency between years 1 and 2. However, I still have to ask myself, what is his ceiling? I think he has real all-star potential if he just works on getting looks inside the arc at a higher rate and converting them. His passing ability could also be polished, but is by no means a cause for concern. Currently averaging 8 assists with 3 turnovers per game, he is in the upper echelon of passers along with Luka, Trey Young, and, may I say it, LeBron James. I think he will be a good player for years to come, but I am hesitant to commit and say he will be an all-star due to his inability to generate points for himself inside the arc. The modern NBA is the perfect climate to challenge my notion, I believe. Never before has more emphasis been put on threes, to the detriment of mid-range shooters everywhere. So maybe Devonta Graham will be one of those players that just lives in three land forever. Can a player like this ever really be a star in the league? Or will Graham have to adapt his style in order to truly stand out? Thanks for watching. And as always, stay dangerous.